All right. Yeah. So, thank you. Um, I'm Connor, and I'm going to be talking to you about the military budget um, of America. And my avatar is a spokesperson who is going around and speaking to concerned Americans about our budget and about our uh, debt issues. So, last week I told you we had to keep the budget the way it is because of three factors. Terrorism, uh, terrorism, war, and uh, upkeep. The upkeep part is that uh, our, if we don't, we have such a huge military, and in order to keep it the way it is, we either have to keep spending money or cut back all of our uh, troops and our weapons, which we can't do because we're so big. And uh, it's expensive to do that. And operations and maintenance of our uh, of our budget is the biggest part of the budget, and it's 41%, uh, or 283 billion of the 680 that I was talking about uh, a few times ago. Um, the next biggest thing that could cause, uh, that would affect, um, that would be an effect is if we if we cut the budget, the um, the the vets, all the vets overseas would be coming home, and they would come to an economy that would not, that is not sustaining uh, people. It's like around seven percent um, unemployment. It would only be about one hundred and one point five million people, but it would still be unemployment that we could not fill jobs for. Um, and our second biggest, the second biggest expense of the budget is the payroll, which is twenty two percent. And the third effect, if we pulled out all of our troops, if we cut our budgets, and if we did all this, potential, the, the places that we were in, Israel, Middle East, um, Korea, 39th parallel, if we pulled all of our troops out of there, war could potentially start. And in some areas, it could be just normal war, like the Korean War was. But some of these places have um, nuclear and chemical weapons. And if we had, if Five million pounds of dust was put into the atmosphere by 100, um, by 100 nuclear weapons. It would change the planet. It would wipe out life on Earth as we know it. So this is why America has to be the world's police. 